So I teach a lot of the, the hands-on, like dirty tech, at all the industrial classes, construction, uh, residential, home building. We finally started after coming back from Christmas break. We started putting the house together finally. Uh, we create um, a 500 square foot kind of model house um, to code. Students design it. Students build it in the back room, and then we put it up, take it down each year. Um, students get to practice plumbing, electrical, uh, framing, concrete, masonry work, you name it. I like this class so we get to use power tools. Um, yeah, I think I'll use all of it. Even if I don't go into a profession for like something in the trades, I could definitely use it to remodel my own home. All of this stuff is very useful. Um, I tell the kids, even if they don't think they're going to go into a career of construction, at some point in time, kind of Kind of one of your adult goals is to own a house. But the tripping part is you have to take care of that home. You can go to Menards and spend a quarter by just buying the material and knowing how to do it. We just started building houses for a Construction 2 class for uh, Habitat for Humanity. So actual houses that get bought, sold um, in the Rockford area. Um, so basically Habitat for Humanity like builds houses. Basically we'll build all the walls and then we'll go and stand them up on site and nail them together. These kids, I mean 16, 17, 18 year old kids, could potentially have built a structure that could be around for the next hundred some years.